couple of days ago, this channel reached 10,000 subscribers. I've got to admit, that milestone kind of snuck up on me. About a year ago, I started this channel as a way of documenting my journey and sharing my approach to taking landscape photos. But this project's turned into something much bigger. Together, we've created a community where I get to interact with people who are just as passionate about photography as I am. And for that, I have you guys to thank. So to everyone who's subscribed, for every like, and even every dislike, for everybody who's left a comment, to those who value what we have here and have shared my videos with others, thank you. You see, your feedback, your willingness to share your stories, and your passion for photography motivates me to make more videos. So I have heaps of content coming from my recent travels, which I'm really excited to share with you. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload my next video, and the first of which I hope to post very, very soon. But to finish this video off, I want to share with you a little more of my hike up Haystacks in the Lake District. So I hope you enjoy this. I can't believe it. I'm still pinching myself that I'm actually standing on the top of one of the mountains in the Lake District. A dream come true. And all around are magnificent views. It is a landscape photographer's dream. On top of Haystacks, there is this gorgeous tarn uh, that at the moment, uh, compositionally, it's running left to right from the bottom of the image up to the top right hand corner of the image. So I'm using that as my main focus. And I've got these rolling mountains with the light hitting them on the side off in the distance. I've also got this rock in the middle, which is where I'm actually focusing. And it's giving me quite a nice composition, which I'm really happy with. Again, I'm having to go fairly heavy with the filters. Six stop, nine stop, soft graduated filters, both on the front here. Uh, that's bringing down the, uh, the strong light that is bouncing off the clouds just above the, the mountains there. I've also got the polarizer, and again, I'm just playing with the polarizer to get the, uh, the best effect. I want a little bit of detail in the clouds, and I want uh, the glare taken off the tarn. Um, in the immediate foreground. I'm using the 24 to 70 and I'm at 24 mil, that's my focal length, and at f8 that gives me a shutter speed of 1 40th of a second. Uh, so that's why it's on a tripod and that's why I'll grab my remote shutter, take the shot and see what it looks like. When you get a view like the one behind me, it is pretty hard to take a bad shot. So I'm set up uh, looking across Buttermere Lake and it is a spectacular view. Um, I've got the river that, that feeds into the lake uh, coming from the right hand side across into the middle. I've got the lake in the middle uh, and then uh, I think it's another lake. Uh, off in the distance. Because of the harsh light, I'm bracketing my shots. I've decided not to go with any filters on the front. I've still got the polarizer because I'm taking the glare off the lake, off the surface of the water. At f8, at ISO 100, 
I've got a shutter speed of one hundredth of a second. Just magnificent. Bracketing uh, five shots, one at zero exposure and then two above and two below. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> 